So what's going on YouTube? This Big B in the house, Peace Two Fingers. So I'll be coming at you for with another video. And you know, I do, if you don't know me by now, or look at my videos, I do a whole lot of different projects and DUI projects. And this one is the um, worm composting. So these are my worm bins. These are uh, red wigglers and these are my earthworms. So, and if you can see over here, I'm gonna pull it over here for a minute. That's the garden over there. If you look over there, I'm gonna make my worm tea. That's what the chair is and my bubbler and all that. And I got water in there, but that's not gonna be till later cause I just put the water in there and um, it's gonna be, uh, it's got chlorine in it and I'm gonna do it naturally, so. But this has been going on, this was the first one, the Red Wigglers uh, for composting, been going on for uh, two months now. About two months, yeah. And after that, I started to raise the um, African earthworms, which is in this one. So I wanted to use this one for composting. This, not so much composting, but for fish bait sooner or later, once they start breeding and which they are, I'll show you in a minute, but um, yeah, this is where we at. So I like to get a glove and I have my little pitch to kind of show you whatever you call this damn thing. Uh, I don't know, but anyway, garden tool. So here we go, let's, let's show you the, uh, the African night crawlers. So what I have is, this is a, I think it's like a 20, 20 gallon tote from Home Depot, cheap, um, about two bucks, something like that. And I have the, um, have cardboard, drill the holes in the side of it. Um, I, I do have holes in the bottom just for leak. I'm not uh, catching that, I'm trying to catch the tea for that. I just let that drain out and because this is the one that I'm catching the, you know, the uh, worm tea in. I had this, this two of them right here. So this one, I just let it go and put water on it, keep it moist and let it go. So let me, I don't know if you can see, but like I said, I drilled holes for ventilation, drill holes for ventilation in the front. You can see earthworm band, compost, fish bait. And when I tell you these things are long, man, I didn't realize how long these things get. But anyway, without further ado, let me um, peel back some of these so you can kind of see. Let me get the camera so you can see a close-up of what's going on here so i put the cardboard look there's one right there see it i'm gonna take it all up don't worry about it there might might be some in there let's see look at that that's one and they're loving it at first you know I've, actually i bought these from um uh petco Look, at, look how fast he went. I bought these from Petco. And when I first got them, I put, the bedding is, uh, well, you see that. That's that's all my old uh, check stubs that I shredded in there. And just regular cardboard that I put on there and but when I started, I started this bin with, uh, what was it, uh, Cocoa Core. And I was buying those worms from uh, Petco. And I bought about, I think it comes in 18, 18. So I bought a bunch of them. I think I bought like 36. And put them in here with the Cocoa Core. And then 
checking on them periodically. Maybe I checked on them more than I should have. But they started coming to the top and dying. And I was like, what's going on? You know, what's, what's going on here and all that? So, look, you can see uh, there's one right there. I, I think that's a, a cocoon right there. But, yeah, it is a cocoon. But, um, so they started dying and I couldn't, I was like getting frustrated because I was like, damn, I want this, this being the, the thrive so I can have some fish bait when I go out. And so I said, you know what, instead of just ordering a bunch of them, let me see how I go and give it some time and whatever. If they all die, then they all die. I'll just let them die and then, uh, you know, the soil and all that would be, it'll come. So then that's what I did. And I started leaving them, leaving them in here and just leaving the dead ones in here because they would start coming to the top because they was all burrowed. Then all of a sudden I started waiting and just not messing with it for a couple weeks. And then all of a sudden, bam. So here we are. We have, this is pumpkin, I'm feeding pumpkin. I, I blended pumpkin, two pumpkins, and froze them and just threw them in there. And here's one right here, look. There's one eating on it. There's some around it. There were more yesterday. I'm sure with the light they went in, but it's about, I would say it's about that I've seen. Here's one right here, look. Oh, shoot. See, it was a, there they are right there. They're under there, see? So I don't want to disturb them too much and I don't want to dig and all that stuff, uh, but all of a sudden seeing like they're, they're taking off and it's about to be on because these things can get, you know what? Let me, let me see if I can take one out and actually take one out and See if he can stretch out for me. Look how thick they are. Now that's a that's a thickums and very healthy. You can see the band. I forgot what they said, but this one probably already laid. Laid the cocoon. But look, look how healthy it is and how thick. So, I mean, you could just, I could just imagine, I'll picture it, that um, once it's time to grow, not grow, but expand, and once, they, once the baby start hatching, that it's going to be on. But I don't want to disturb this too much, but... <sighs> And I'm sure you can see that there's some fruit flies in here, which I don't mind because they kind of help out. But I, it's just annoying sometimes. I'm sure it's going to get worse in the summertime. But but let me put this stuff back, and then I'll show you the other bin. How we doing with the other bin? This one is still, you know, going down, so... It still needs to build up and build it, its strength up, which it is, but, you know, but, so, yeah, like I said, what I do is, put it back, what I do is I just water it, make sure it's moist, and water it. Just sprinkle some water on top and let it just fall out. This one, like I said, this one, I don't even keep the worm juice. I just, or the worm tea, whatever you want to call it. But um, I just let it just fall out and just put maybe like a gallon of water periodically, maybe about once a month. And on top, just pour it right on top of this. 
the cardboard and just let it go straight down. So that's that. You see now those. So this is going to be some great fish bait. And I'm going to try it out myself. I'm excited to see. I'm going to use some of these red wigglers as fish bait too. Now this this one is, is the one that's been going on for for a while and I got to check because they are they do try to get out. But with this one I have uh, a towel on top of that. And most of the time they are like I'll open it and they're all up in here, which I'm sure you guys all experience if you were raising um, worms and red wigglers like that. So, um, but with the, ever since I put in the, the check stubs, which you can see, let me bring you back over. Since I put in the check stubs, all my check stubs, and I'm sure you can imagine, this is not even, I've been at my job for 20 years, but this is not even half of it. If you look at that, you can see some of the fruit flies or whatever like that. And I do bury the food in here, but it's just, I welcome them because whatever. As long as they're not harming the, the worms, but let me see ever since i put 